Before you go scouring the internet for free software, it's worth noting that both Windows, Mac and iOS all come with free screen recorders pre-installed. If you own a Mac, then you probably don't need to look any further than the QuickTime Media Player, which you'll find in your applications folder. Simply open the app, click on the file menu and select new screen recording to bring up the interface. You then have the option to record the entire screen or select a portion of it. There are additional settings where you can add a timer before the recording starts, include audio and choose whether you wish to display the mouse cursor. Having made your selection, simply hit the record button. An icon will appear in the menu bar to confirm that QuickTime is now recording. When you're finished, simply click on the icon and your video will be displayed on screen. You can save it in the normal way by going to the file menu or alternatively, a copy is saved directly to your desktop. A similar app is also pre-installed in iOS on iPhone and iPad. To use it, we must first add it to the control center. Open settings, scroll down to the control center, find the screen recorder and click on the green plus button next to it. Open up the control center either by swiping up or swiping down, depending on the age of your device, and there you should see the record button. To stop recording, you can either click on the button again or on the bar that appears along the top of the screen. The video will get saved to your photo library. For Windows users, the built-in screen recorder is part of the Xbox Game Bar application, which you can open either by pressing on the Windows key and G for game on your keyboard, or by typing in Xbox in the search box. To begin recording, you would press on the record button here. However, you can see that my computer doesn't meet the minimum spec required to use it. And to be honest, that's just fine because it's not that great anyway. This game bar recorder will only allow you to record in games and will stop recording when you switch to a different application or to your desktop. So instead, I recommend a free tool which you can use by navigating to apowersoft.com. Apowersoft's free online screen recorder allows you to record your screen for an unlimited amount of time without adding a watermark and you can save the files locally to your hard drive. Ignore the download app button, which is for the paid version of the software, and instead click on start recording. The first time you use the app, you'll be prompted to install the launcher, which initiates the interface. Once installed, you will see the menu where you have the normal options to record full screen or a portion of screen, and whether to include microphone and system audio. If you have a webcam, you can also choose to record it at the same time. There are additional options within settings, such as highlighting the cursor, setting the frame rate, and hiding the menu bar whilst recording. On the general tab, you can choose a location where to save your videos, which I'll set to my video folder. When ready, click on the record button. Once finished, right click on the icon in the system tray and select stop. The resulting video will be displayed on screen and you can save your recording by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner of the window. And there you have it. Those are my recommendations for a free screen recorder for Windows, Mac and iOS. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.